Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I know it's been a little bit since I've done one. So, if you guys miss me, hey, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and hit that bell for notifications, and leave a comment down below. Today, I am somewhere different, somewhere you guys are pretty new to. It's an old friend of mine that I've known for the past 20 years, buddy of mine, Earl. He owned a place called Camp Road Collision in Hamburg, New York. So, he actually has his own channel, Hadn't done much with it because he'd been busy. So now we're going to take his channel, revamp it. So he's got a channel. It's called Camp Road Collision. You'll find some older ones, but soon we're going to put the new one down there. So today I'm going to show you guys this. This is what we're going to work on. I know you guys are probably wondering what the heck's underneath here. If you guys can figure out what it is. Leave a comment down below. And yes, the windshield is out of it. So, I will give you guys a really good sneak peek here. This should give you a really good clue. Nineteen ninety two Lamborghini Diablo. I know it's pretty dirty right now, so it is going to get a little bit of a revamp. This is actually a kit car, even though you would never know it, because this car was basically the body was molded off of one, off of a real one. So the body on this car is the exact width and height and length. So this is close as you're gonna get. I mean, the wheels are, yes, they are aftermarket, but they look, you would never be able to tell the difference. This is Lamborghini Diablo Red. This car is. I mean, I know she's a little dirty. She's been sitting around a little bit. A friend of mine, Earl, started this car probably about 20 years, eh, about 20 years ago. So Earl and I met about 20 years ago, became friends because of the car when he first started it, because he had, you know, another kit car for sale that he never really worked on. I seen this one in his shop, and I just started a conversation with him, and, you know, the friendship grew from there. So, but unfortunately, this car needs some love, you know. As you can tell, the windshield is out of it. It's a little dirty in there. The windshield got broken on accident. Something did fall on it. So we're going to cut another windshield for it. We're not going to use a regular Lamborghini windshield. We're going to use a windshield from, I can't remember what it is, but Earl knows how to cut it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up. I know these doors are a little bit of a pain in the butt to open. There we go. I know a lot of fabrication went into this car. If you can see the hinges, he actually made those. Made the hinges. There's a little switches that turn the lights on and off, you know, when you close the door, the lights go out. So, yeah, I know it's a little, a little dirty in here, but unfortunately, you know, the dust got into it and being in a body shop, got a little dirty. So we got to put a windshield in it. We're going to change the carpets out of it. You know, got to do some detailing to it. You know, it's been sitting around for a while. You know, give it a little tune-up. Good things like that. And these windows do go down, but they go down halfway. So these, win these side windows were purchased from, not sure. These side windows, these were actually a Dodge Neon, and they were cut down. So... 
The brakes on this car are actually Camaro. I'm not sure what year it does have a full coilover suspension. Now, a lot of problem, people are probably just thinking that this is just some Fiero kit car and that's it. No. The only thing that is Fiero in this car is the floor pan and part of the back wall. Other than and maybe the steering column. Other than that, there is nothing else in this car that is Fiero. The frame was built by hand. I mean, there was a lot of, you know, engineering going on that was done by hand. So, a lot of the emblems, those are all real. The lights are real. So, all the emblems are real. The tail lights are real. You know, the reverse lights. So, the motor, you guys are probably wondering what's in it. So no, it doesn't have a big, you know, we took the, the wing off of it because, you know, I just want to do some work to it. The motor is actually a Chrysler motor. So it's out of like the Chevy Prowler or something like that because it had perfect displacement, you know, the perfect width and the radiators, these grills were made. The radiators are actually Geo Metro. There's two of them with the fans. They actually work very, very well. These grates, these were made. You know, Earl had to make those as well. You know, even in here, you know, all this stuff in here, he had to make all that. A lot of things had to be made by hand. A lot of engineering and manufacturing for this car. So we are going to document this car. And we are going to put it on both of our channels. I'm going to help him out because I have my channel established and he hadn't been able to do much with his. So I told him, I said, you know what, we're friends. So if you guys can go on to his web, you know, his channel, you know, you can see that Camp Road Collision. Look him up, give him some likes, subscribe, make some comments for some of the things that he has done. That'll help him out. I can cover this car back up. But this is basically what we are going to be working on. This car is going to be a lot of fun to work on. You know, I did help him build it, you know, years ago. And the car was done probably about 10 years ago, give or take. I'm just covering her back up. But yes, those are real emblems. Um, the real turn signals, all that. This is still a beautiful car, even though she's dirty and she needs a little TLC, needs a windshield, needs some cleaning. But this is still a hot car. So I'm going to squeeze through here. So, yep, I know this is going to be a short video, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek of what we're going to be working on. I'm going to show you guys how to cut a windshield, you know, with you know, not just regular glass cutters. They're actually little saw blades you can put into a jigsaw that have diamonds on them. So we'll do a full video on that of how to do that. So until then, guys, this is going to be the end of this one. I'm sorry it's so short. But like I said, again, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, hit that bell for notifications, put a comment down below, and hit up a buddy of mine or his channel, Camp Road Collision. And we'll see all you guys again soon.